Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'll be making version 2 of my dish on laundry bars. This is actually quite a new recipe. This is the first time actually making this recipe, so I thought I'd film it and give it a lather test to see how it performs. Uh, I have made, I mean I do make and sell 100% coconut oil dish on laundry bars, and I use that personally for everyday type things i use it to wash all my equipment and uh regarding soap making and candle making it does a fantastic job i for me personally doesn't dry my hands out the 100 percent coconut oil version um, but to my mum it kind of drives her hands out because she uh uses it to wash the dishes so i thought i'll try and create a more conditioning dish and laundry bar so this recipe is something i it's been in, on my mind for a while and uh, i thought i'll just give it a try the only thing missing was sunflower oil so i went out and got myself just a um a small uh, bottle of uh, organic sunflower oil just to give it a try just so it can be a little more gentle on uh, the hands but still very effective on cleaning your dishes and removing stains from your clothes so just to go over the recipe information, I've decided to go with 45% uh, organic coconut oil, 45% cold pressed olive oil, 5% castor oil and 5% sunflower oil. And the reason why I added sunflower oil is because it is known to boost lather as well as sustain a very good lather. And I've personally never used sunflower oil in any of my recipes, so this is literally the first time I have used sunflower oil. And uh, I'm actually quite impressed uh, how it performs, actually, because, I mean, I have lots of recipes with coconut, olive, and castor, and it does an amazing job lather-wise. But the addition of sunflower oil, I have actually noticed it boosting the and sustaining the lather as well. And um, I'm actually quite impressed with it, so I definitely will be using sunflower oil in this recipe in the future with larger batches. Um, I've just made uh, six uh, big bars of this. Um, so I'll just be using it around the house and family will be using it. We'll be testing it for a while. And if we, if I like it and if we all like it and it doesn't uh, dry out my mum's hands, like as previously men mentioned, and it cleans very well, then this is definitely a staple I will be making and uh, selling in future. But yeah, so far I think this percentage combination uh, from what I've been able to see from testing it out, it's really fantastic. And uh, I have every faith that it will um, clean very well and uh, last over time um, because there is a higher percentage of soft oils in this recipe, I did decide to uh, use uh, pink salt and 2% uh, sodium lactate uh, because there are a um, higher percentage of soft oils compared to the 100% coconut oil. You don't need to add salt or sodium lactate. But um, I went ahead and uh, added it for this particular recipe. And because you are going to be using a sponge on the actual bar and you're going to be working it into a leather, I wanted to increase the hardness and, you know, in turn, you know, end result, uh, increase longevity of the bar. So that was um, my thinking behind it. The kaolin clay, obviously that helps lift um, the dirt off your dishes. It's really good to soak up impurities. Organic raw sugar, as you know, it's another lather booster. Um, and the grapefruit seed extract, of course, because I, I do sell my products. I, um, I use grapefruit seed extract in my dish bars and in my liquid soaps because they are great antioxidants and it's, it's, it's used to extend the um, shelf life of the, of the products. But of course, um, anything under optional additives, you do not need to add whatsoever. If you wanted to just use the oils, the oil combination on the top, plus obviously you need stool water and the lye, then yes, that's fine. That's totally fine. It would still clean just as effective. It will still be nice and gentle on the hands. But if you wanted to really create just an all-rounder superior, really really great bar long lasting bar then by all means go ahead and um, add the optional additives 
with the grapefruit seed extract again if it's for home use you don't really need to worry about it you can save your money the other optional uh, inputs are really relatively inexpensive so they probably even might be stuff you might have lying around the house like raw sugar and pink salt um, and if you're like a soapy you know so hobbyist then of course you probably will already have kale and clay lying around and sodium lactate lying around so I mean if you have it already by all means just go throw it in it's fine right so um, I have the coconut oil and the sodium lactate I always use the heat transfer method um, instead of waiting for it to cool usually if the coconut oil is 30% and below I wait for the live water to cool under 50 degrees celsius between 47 and 50 i'll add it to the coconut oil but in this case because it is 45 percent coconut oil you do need that extra heat from the heat transfer so i actually added the lye water to the coconut oil at 74 degrees celsius and uh, it still took a couple of minutes to to melt it down it is really cold here in Sydney at the moment so the coconut oil is extra extra firm and hard so the extra heat is needed so it just depends on um, how uh, experienced you are with the heat transfer method but by all means you can just melt it all together all the oils together and just wait for it to come down to you know 40 degrees mark 40 degrees celsius mark and same with your live water and then just combine it together but i i really like the idea of using the heat and not using any electricity the only electricity i'm using here is obviously the stick blender um, i'm using my tablet as well to film this so I just like to minimize my input if I don't need to melt down my oils I will always go down to I'll always go towards the heat transfer method I just find it easier and it just eliminates the waiting around time as well I can just focus on making soap and that's that's ultimately what I love doing um, this took a good four minutes to uh, melt down completely and in the oil section and other pyrex uh, glass jar i have the olive oil the castor oil the sunflower oil the grapefruit seed extract and the kale and clay and um i just uh combine it all together when it's ready and uh yeah so that's how that's how generally i do all my heat transfer methods and you'll see the same consistent um way of doing it uh, how the way I do it uh, through all my videos. Right, so stay tuned and uh, enjoy the ride until the lather test.
Right, so um, I waited about 72 hours after unmoulding to uh, do a lather test because these bars are significantly softer than 100% coconut oil. Um, but um, I really love the way the lather is. It, it lathers really well. Um, I think it lathers actually just as well. Uh, the only difference it would be uh, it would be just a lot more gentle on the hands if you do have uh, more sensitive hands and they are prone to drying, especially with um, the 100% coconut oil. But yeah, thumbs up for this. I think um, it turned out great. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope that you actually use the recipe and uh, let me know your thoughts if you do give the recipe a try. Uh, let me know how you find it and how it performs. Um, remember to share and like this video and subscribe to my channel and head on over to my Facebook and Instagram and follow me there. I'm looking forward to reading all the comments and until next time, happy soaping. Bye for now.